Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Chris Collinsworth. That's uh, Chris Collinsworth. I don't know how many people realize this. He's one of the guys that is the uh, the founder of Pro Football Focus. So Chris Collinsworth's mock draft has the uh, the Browns taking Nick Bolden. That's another linebacker. This guy from Missouri. Um, <laughs> so and again, I could be completely wrong. Uh, what do you know about Bolton? What do you like about him? Uh, Bolden is more of the, e even more so of the traditional linebacker, not necessarily the 2020 version of a linebacker where, you know, with uh, Davis, he's a little bit of a lighter linebacker, maybe around like 240. Uh, Bolden's a little bit heavier. You know, he's somebody who will be more in the box, uh, can play in coverage a little bit, but, you know, I like Bolden, but I don't necessarily like him in the first round. I like him more of that round three type, maybe, you know, around that pick 70 to 80 range. I think that, that's kind of his sweet spot. I don't necessarily know if he'll go round one. So, I mean, for me, this is a little rich for my blood, and especially if we're talking about a first-round linebacker. If we're not talking about Jim and Davis or, like you said, JOK uh, as well, I I'm not really sure if I necessarily want to invest in one of those linebackers. And even, too, I know we've talked about Zayvon Collins in the past, but, you know, he recently bulked up to 270 pounds. So I don't necessarily know if he really fits what the Browns want to do. Uh, you know, he's not necessarily an edge, but he's also not – he's a little bit too big for a linebacker, in my opinion. So, you know, I'm not really sure where he fits. So I don't necessarily think that he's a good fit for that round one. I'm more so looking at, you know, JOK or Jamin Davis.